sweetie. I missed you so much. How are you? Get in, get in, get in. Hey, Mick. I just want to say thanks, you know, for signing all the papers and... Oh, yeah, 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 no, it's no problem. See you Monday. Did you even think about how you're going to pay off that alimony? It's like half of what you earn, plus child support, and you're a few months behind on rent. What if we get someone to date? No, marry Avery. This would solve all your problems. This is like the perfect situation. You know all the things she loves and hates. You know all the inside track on everything. Yes. Movies? Hello, soldier. Boo. It used to be an opera house, and there was this infamous gang massacre here. Wow. Which makes total sense for you to be here right now. Why is that? Because you're kidding it. Oh. Flowers. Hi, Avery. Hi. You look amazing. Oh. No, this, this is amazing. You would be the best love coach in the history of love coaches. Don't you look dashing. Thanks. Back at you, kid. Back at you, kid. <laughs> you thought that you were finished. Daddy, do you know that Becky and her friends are also getting divorced? Don't worry, Daddy. I know you both love me, and I love both of you. You both deserve to be happy. And the night's still young. Whatever happened to my dreams of opening up a Michelin-starred Filipino restaurant. She used to say that I gave up on my dreams. I resented her. I resented her success. You think you can just treat people that way, put up a restaurant, name it after me, and think all your problems are gonna go away? It doesn't work like that, Meg. I'm not, I'm not your punchline. And it gets too hard, then just let me know. Keep running. I stay on the prowl.